So today I want to show you two things I love doing with the gate sequencer from Impromptu. If you follow my videos, you probably noticed that I use it quite a lot. So I wanted to share with you these techniques. If you enjoy these types of videos and my work in general, consider joining our community over at Patreon and Discord for lots of extra content. Links in the description. And I want to start with a simple yet powerful feature, probability per step. So here I have a kick, hi-hat and clap, of course being sequenced by the gate sequencer, it will sound like this. Right, and now we can add more steps that have probability on them. So let's say we will add step 7 for the kick. And then here with this uh, button here, the probability button, I can add probability and then change the value. I can have it occur more often or less often. Let's wait for it. Right? So now this step will have probability. Sometimes it will play like now. Sometimes it will not play and so on. So this is basically probability per step. But, and this is something I do usually, we can take this even a step further. So for example, let's add another probability, in this case for the clap, this will be step number 8, add probability to it, right? Right, so now we have another step uh, for the clap that will have probability, but let's say that I want to have something happen only when this step plays. For this, we will need to use another row. In this case, we have four rows. I'm using only three. So I will use the fourth row, right? So I will move this step to the fourth row, add again probability to it, right? And now we need somehow to combine the rows again to trigger the clap. Uh, this you can either do with the mixer since both rows will never happen at the same time, right? We have one step here and one step there. So since they will not happen at the same time, you can use something like a mixer, but you can also use all logic. This is what I will use. This is the logic module from BCV, right? So if we take the third row, it means that when the third row or the fourth row plays, this will trigger the clap, right? So now we get the same, now we get the same result. But now we have access to this step. We have access to this gate via the fourth row, and we can use this in all sorts of ways. For example, something I do a lot is use a delay. So here I have a little chain, I have here a VCA, and an envelope, and a delay, and some pending modulation with an LFO, but basically the delay here is the important module. Right, so what we will do, is we will take a copy of the clap. I'm just holding control to take another cable. We will send it first to the VCA and the VCA will allow us to gate this voice, right? To send it somewhere or not send it somewhere. We will send it in this case to the delay, right? And again, now we have access to this gate with probability. So I'm going to use this gate, a copy of this gate to gate the envelope. Right? And this is what will happen. Let's wait for it one more time. Only when this gate with probability plays, only then the voice or this uh, clap in this case will go to the delay. So only on this step and only when it happens according to the probability, we will send it to the delay. So again, this is something I do quite a lot. So not only that you have probability per step, which is already quite cool, you can also use another row and then have access to this gate with probability. I have here another example. I have here a sort of a bass voice. I'm using a, the tom and the kick from VCV as my bass, right? Going through the wave shaper and I have one envelope controlling it a bit, going through a delay and the reverb, right? These are the stable two steps, but I have another step that I'm using, right? Again, combining it with logic. And whenever this step happens, right? You see I'm gating here another envelope that will change the timbre quite a bit. 
right? So we get a, a sort of a different sound only on this step. Hopala, it will sound like this. Right, so it will be a bit, it will sound a bit different only on this step. Right, so usually it's quite dark. When this step happens, as you could hear now, things are getting brighter for the bass. So again, you have probability per step, and by using another row, you can use this uh, probability gate to have other events happen at the same time. Another thing I really like doing is creating some sort of a basic rhythm and then create variations of it, switching between the variations by using song mode. So here again, I have some drums, I have a kick, closed hat, snare, and open hat. The open hat has some delay on it. And just for fun, I'm mixing everything of the drums, sending it to a comp filter and a reverb. <laughs> just for fun. Right, so now we can copy, right, I can copy this sequence. I have it set to copy all of the sequences. You can see here, you can copy four steps, eight steps, or all of the steps, all of the sequence, and then I hit copy. I move to the next sequence, I hit paste, right, and I have the same, um, the same sequence. Now I can add some variation to it, let's say something like this. Right, and then copy this again and create another variation, maybe with more intensity. Let's do something like this. Right, and then I can create a song out of it. So if I go now to song mode, right, and I will choose to have eight steps. Right, so now we have eight sequences that we can choose from. I'm going to leave it at one, 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 and then change the fourth here to be sequence two, and then one, 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 and then sequence three. Right, and then this will automatically switch between the sequences, add more variation, Right, chaining the sequences, switching between them. By the way, I just quickly want to show you something. Um, you saw I uh, selected sequence one, one, and one three times. Uh, if you go, if we go quickly to the sequence, right, I went to sequence mode, sequence one. If you ever look in the different play modes, right, there is forward, reverse, ping pong, and so on. There is also forward two, so it will play forward two times in song mode forward three, it will play three times in song mode, right? So if now I have it, I have sequence one set to forward three, and I go to song mode, right? Now I just need to have four steps, and then sequence one will play three times, and then sequence two will play once, sequence one, one will play three times, and then sequence three. Right, instead of having eight steps and selecting sequence one three times, I just set sequence one to play three times, forward three times, and then we can have less steps. Just something quickly I want to show you. Um, if you want to do this and you want to save steps, you want to create longer songs or longer chains, this is something you can do. Now let's mute this for a second. I have here a few more voices. Right, I have here another gate sequencer, sequencing kick all. Right, sequencing the Pony VCO and Tremor 2 with some delay. 
Right now I have four sequences set for uh, variations. Right, and of course you can have some variations with probability also. If you uh, explore the advanced gate modes, you can also use them in some of the variations. Right, and then I have eight sequences set. Right, and I have more of a uh, sequence two selected. Because now what I will do, there is also play mode for the song. So if we go to the play modes, right, we can have again forward, reverse, and this will affect how the song will run. And we have also random. So now it will jump between the different sequences randomly. Again, because I have more of sequence two, it will play sequence two, uh, the, or sequence two has more chance of playing. Right, so you can also set a few variations and then set the gate sequencer to randomly jump between them. Right, and create something a bit more random, so everything together will sound like this. Right, so the gate sequencer is uh, great for quickly creating all sorts of variations if it's with probability, if it's with the song mode. Right, and there is a lot more to explore, of course, with the gate sequencer. These are two things that I do quite a lot, um, and I hope you will also go and explore them a bit again. Come join us on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Cheers.